This is flagged for content. <laughs> M- my name is Frederick the Flagman. <laughs> okay, so here it goes. We've got flags and banners, and if you mind your manners, we might even get to standards and what they represent. So just take my boy's hand, and we'll both try to understand how this vexillion logic podcast could be flagged for content. Flagged for content. What's up, Vexheads, and welcome to episode 31 of Flagged for Content. It's the only podcast that had its flag go on sale this week. I can pretty much guarantee that is the case. Speaking of that, our flag went on sale this week. If you go over to flagsforgood.com, a sponsor that I mention every show, at least twice, contractually no um (laughs) they are selling our flag they did a limited run of two by three foot ones so go check those out um i am anxiously awaiting mine to see i'll always have a soft spot for this kind of og one in the background here but i can't wait to get like an actual good quality one which is what flags for good does so yeah go check them out you can use code flagged for content like the number four digit four in the middle Uh, All caps, but I don't know if it matters. Anyway, you can get 10% off if you use that code. And not just on my flag, but on anything. And uh, yeah, so go hit them up. Also worth mentioning, uh, I always have a shout out reserved for the winner of our Fresh Flags competitions. And I usually just do the round. But this week, uh, it's worth mentioning that we wrapped up season one. We ended up doing 47 rounds, which was a lot. And uh, it was probably just around 45 that I figured I wanted to do it as a season and end it. But anyway, the winner of that was at flags in 50. That is Tarith. Uh, I can't remember if there are underscores under flags in 50 or not. I should have looked that up. I don't. I think there are actually. (laughs) Anyway, uh, flags in 50. If you know this show, you probably know him. Tarith has been on the show and Speaking of that, he is going to be on Flagged for Bonus Content, which is the bonus content, you know, exactly what it sounds like, that is being recorded and edited now for our Patreon. So Patreon, we have three levels. There's a $2 level, which is basically you you like the show. You can't really afford much, but uh, you appreciate it, and I appreciate you, so I will give you some ad-free episodes and a couple bonuses here and there, uh, and a shout-out. We have a $5 level and a $10 level. You can go check out the Patreon. I don't want to go too far in depth to all that because this is a longer episode in the first place. But uh, at the $5, you get one bonus episode. At the $10, you get two. Um, There are other things that go along with both. Anyway, that's all on that. The show notes on this one are super important and a little bit more high tech, a little bit more advanced than I normally have them. They are all organized like usual or or, you know they're in a folder like usual uh that you can check out in the notes here at the bottom in the description but also they are uh they're named by time code so they're named you know even i went to the hour so zero zero five minutes in and 21 seconds this picture comes up that's what it's named so for audio listeners if you want to follow along i tried to make it a little bit easier for you full disclosure that was Frederick's idea, the guest for this episode, but uh, I thought it was a great one. So I'm going to start implementing that. Um, let's see. Yeah. And and you will want to check out the show notes in addition to just the pictures that pop up. Uh, I've got like the, the contest submission itself. Like it's got, uh, you know, a little bit more behind the scenes than even is included in this episode here. Um, it's got, yeah, like a few things on the New Zealand flag redesign and uh, that Reddit post that we talk about during the episode. Anyway, go check that out. Um, And speaking of going along, we did not even get close to getting to all the things that we meant to this episode. So Frederick is going to be back for sure. I may even have him back with somebody else. We'll have like a a designer. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. Like I've said before, and, and we'll say again, a few things, you know tumbling around up in the old noggin but uh yeah we'll see what comes to fruition anyway enjoy this episode with frederick i sure as hell did this one was a lot of fun we went long because we lost track of time talking about the forest fen flag which he's the designer of 
uh, most of what we talk about this episode. And I would say stay tuned for next week's guest. I don't actually know who that's going to be yet. I've got a few different ones recorded and uh, some of them are, are time dependent, some not. So uh, stay tuned. I know it's going to be a good one because I've got six banked, if you can believe it. And there's not a bad one in the bunch. So anyway, uh, stay tuned for next week. But for now, enjoy this conversation with Frederick, designer of the Forest Fins flag. Folks, we have yet another amazing guest this week. You guys have come to expect that at this point. You know him from Instagram at Flagmanen, Flagman, where he rants about flag design in Norwegian. If you've been to Trondheim, you know him as the guy who used to put country's flags on his balcony for their national holidays for all the pedestrians to enjoy. And you know him as the co-creator of the new Forest Fins flag. It's Frederik Lindbo! <laughs> Thank you. What's up, Frederick? Oh, I'm, I'm happy to be here. That's what's up. <laughs> I'm happy to uh, to have you here. I did not even mean to go, Lin Bo, whoa, whoa, but I kind of like it. I might start doing that. Anyway, how's it uh, how's it going in Norway? You're in Oslo? I'm in Oslo. I'm doing well. I've been paddling today in the fjord of Oslo, which is not a fjord. It's a rift. It's the Atlantic Ocean that failed. <laughs> Fair. And uh, a seagull shot on my head. But that was That's fun. One. Yes, uh, but I'm. Uh, other than that, I'm quite happy for reasons uh, I assume we'll talk about. Yeah, yeah, we will definitely get into that. Um, yeah, let's actually let's go ahead and let the Vex heads know what's on the flagpole today. Uh, as usual, and as I always say, some really good stuff goes without saying at this point. First, we will have our usual overrated and underrated flags. We will chat about who these forest fins are in the first place, a little bit anyway, and why they needed a flag and why this was the man to design it. Uh, we will talk about Frederick's design process and just kind of like the uh, the roller coaster that you know was the the design of that flag. And as always, we will end on a game. But first, before we get to any of that, Frederick, I like to ask my guests what flag got you into flags in the first place. Um. The flag that got me into the flag in the first place, I, I'm i going to say the flag of the Norwegian city where I used to live, Trondheim. Trondheim, and okay. Trondheim is, is the third biggest city or town in Norway. <laughs> like 200,000 uh, people live there. But uh, I Fair. started there and then I lived there for uh, like a total of 12 years. And uh, yeah, okay. I, uh, I happened to live there when Roman Mars did his wonderful, wonderful city flag TED talk. Right, and, uh, 2015. And flag... Yes. Yep. <laughs> and uh, and the flag of Trondheim was uh, shout outed uh, at the end, along with Portland and Hong Kong, I think. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, yes, and uh, and and then oh, flags are cool. It like it the, just the TED talk really touched my heart and i thought oh well, it's cool let's go see if i find the flag in the city yeah yeah i find it a little but then i i i bought it or i i got it uh <laughs> custom made but I, yeah I if you want to see it all the time that's the quickest route to do that so i just bought one and i oh nice yes here it is the big rose of olaf the sacred hell yeah um, yeah and I and I and I put it on my uh, on my porch or in my like balcony in the house where I live, and mm -hmm. for all the pedestrians to see. And whenever there was a, and then after that, I started my just flag collection, just collecting flags where wherever I traveled, and I put out the flag for the national holidays. Gotcha, awesome. That's yeah, a, this is that's actually a, a good like I might ra start to ask guests this as well. But so that was the first one in your collection. That was the first one that you bought. Um, ah. I, <laughs> It's, it's not meant to be a gotcha the, question. It, it, but... it, it's, it's better for the story if I tell it that way. Ah, okay, um, okay. No, I, I think the first flag that I bought, uh, I, I, I was in uh, it was 2017. I, I was traveling with my with my choir in Munich, in Bavaria, ah. and I, you know, Bavaria, they have that lovely uh, the lozenges, or... lozenges, blue, yeah. and, blue and white, uh, sort of um, non -sym or symmetrical, but uh, yeah. Uh, I tilted and I thought, oh, this is a cool thing. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll buy a flag for every place I go visit. And that way I'll have a, a collection that I just keep adding on my entire life and sort of <laughs> an incentive to like go see new places. 
So that's the, yeah. when we go uh, traveling with my wife, where do we go for summer holiday? I just doesn't matter as long as I can get a new flag. That's <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Dude. Yeah. You and I are kindred spirits then. Cause that's, that's how I started. Um, my first one I think was an England flag, like England, not the UK. Yeah. And it was only because, uh, basically it was because I was there. Um, yeah. It was, and it was, and it was around the, I think it was 2006 or around then. Uh, so the world cup was like kicking yes. off. So yeah. So the England national team, that's why it was the England specific one. Exactly. And, and I, yeah, I made the same decision you did. I was like, I am going to get a flag from every place that I go to. Oh. I started off macro, like getting, you know, the country flags and then got like smaller. You started, uh, on a smaller level, yeah. which is smart. I have a Bavaria one, but you know, it was like my third trip to Germany that I finally so apparently you've been in Sweden in the 1800s, according to the flag in your yes. Mm -hmm. your back. That's uh... yep. I still yeah. It's a principle that I still follow today. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, I would love to, Ben. Uh. Yeah, I will say once I started the show, I was I had like 20 flags. I've been at you know well 20 places. I got whatever. Yeah. Um. Somewhere in there, and I was like. I was hanging them in the back and, and well, that was before I was even doing video. I think I was just putting them on Instagram and stuff, yep. but I was like, I need more than 20 flags if I'm going to realistically do what, like do this show the way that I want to do it yeah, anyway. Exactly. So yeah, kind of broke my principle there, but anyway, yeah. So, uh, so we're going to cut all that. The Tron time one was the first one you ever got. Um, <laughs> I thought it was interesting. Uh, no, yeah. no, that is no, no, it is very interesting. I, uh, was not yeah. familiar with the Tron time flag until the Roman Mars thing either. What Me was neither. it? Meaning okay, that, yeah, that, that's what it, I was going to ask. And it's it's not really flown. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, I, I saw it on on top of City Hall. It was. I saw it next to the like the municipal swimming pool. Uh, municipal. Yes, municipal. <laughs> uh, I acknowledge you there. Um, and uh, uh, they sort of put the yeah the show it again the rose, which looks like this. Yeah look at show notes listeners uh golden rose eight leafed rose on red uh they, they put it on, on poles when you go hiking like in the, oh, okay in the, in the like city mountain as you call it so you see the uh, symbol like fairly often yeah, but not like the, the flag yeah. yeah gotcha and there are like two versions and um yeah it, it wasn't really used but um yeah I, I bought one i spent way too much money on getting it like custom <laughs> soon like maybe oh i don't blame you $150. That's what Ooh. it costs. Like Norway is expensive. Damn. But yeah. yeah. Was, uh, totally worth it at the, uh, to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for sure. I I'm sure that our listeners will understand that too. The kind of people that listen to this show. Yeah. They get it. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. So that's the, uh, the first one that got you into flags. Yeah. Well, all, all the flags of the Roman Mars Ted Mark got sure. Into yeah. Flags. Like, but, but that one like hit home. Cause you're like, wait, I live there. I exactly. live here. That was like, that, that was cool. And I showed it to my friends. Like, have you seen the flag? Like, no. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be my question is like that excited. Yeah. Yeah. That is wild. I mean, I'm sure a lot of American listeners can relate. Like I live in a city that has a terrible flag, oh. but, but in, in the way, like, I guess there's two ways that can go. You can either have a terrible flag and your city can fly it fucking everywhere <laughs> and it can just be awful and aesthetically terrible, or you can have a terrible flag that your city is just as ashamed of as you are. And, uh, they don't fly it anywhere, which is the case where I'm at. So I didn't even know we had a flag. I, my hometown, I didn't even know how to flag until I moved away from it. Oh, and then, uh, one of my friends was like in the courthouse and they were like, Hey, what is this thing? And I was like, I have no idea. So I looked it up. It's the flag of Knoxville, Tennessee. It's the, it's the one that was on fresh flags the other day, actually. Oh. I don't know if you saw that one or not, but anyway um i think so yeah yeah the terrible one with uh yeah <laughs> yeah the like black stripes blue yeah. red yellow yeah. yeah no idea of guessing that's <laughs> it's insane yeah um all right cool so yeah. that is the one that got you into flags let's go into over and underrated uh we can start with whichever one you would like to and keep in mind we can also finish on whichever one you would like to so end on a high end on a low up to you okay i <laughs> i i, I want to start uh on the underrated one okay uh I, I have more to say about the overrated one okay gotcha That's good order then. um yes so my my uh underrated flag uh i, I just find I, it baffles me that people don't know this flag more it was one of the 
one of the 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 finalists of the New Zealand redesign uh, contest in 20 whatever 15, uh -huh. uh, the New Zealand uh, Koru flag that was black and white and had this Koru sort of spiral symbol. Uh, okay. And uh, I can I can share it on the screen. I was gonna say yeah, uh, share it on the screen. I'll that way I don't share it on the screen, and we can go share. All right, first try. First try. This is what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is very very cool. And it was um, uh, it was one of the the four uh four jury selected uh, finalists. Mm -hmm. Uh, for, I don't know if you remember how the, that flag referendum went, I, or went out. I remember two of the finalists. I don't remember yeah, the. Uh, it's yeah. a, so it was a uh, hello, people. Submit your the, your suggestions for a, a new New Zealand flags, and the committee got like a million suggestions, uh, mm -hmm. laser kiwi included. Right. And, yep. And then they they published about forty, I think. Of the like the jurors preferred and just to like hear what people were thinking and the jury selected yeah. four, four of them, mm -hmm. uh, two of them which really looked alike, just a silver fern, uh, with a southern cross, just with a different color scheme, uh, mm -hmm. and, and and this koru was one of them, and uh, also maybe a, just a, a black and white silver fern, uh, like alternate colors, and then you had this peak uh, that just got like bullied into the <laughs> yeah <laughs> into the or like a people voted or people uh, marched the flag back into the contest so there were five finalists but this was my yeah. favorite the the koru flag and is what what is new zealand to me well it, it, it's like the the rugby team the all blacks that's like yep. their their identity mm -hmm. and this just baffles me that people don't didn't like this flag better and i thought it was way better than the um, than the silver fern like the silver fern is a great symbol but it's also trademarked and oh um, i didn't know that yeah, yeah that's they had to sort of remove it or one of one of them gotcha uh, yeah that does like, this removal. is a bit simpler and i i feel like this is you can play with this design black and white and you have the spirals you can make like cool t-shirts with little spirally things like it is oh. yeah 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 it's like what we talk about a lot like um i mean like with uh with tara for example and keystone flag and like how yeah you want to make it like remixable like you can exactly. do sports teams colors you can do pride yes. colors like different things that's, um, that's like my number one take on flags like is it remixable and adaptable can you use it yeah like, can, can you play around with it and create an identity with it yeah uh, it, if yes then you have a good flag and uh so it just uh, baffles me that uh, this wasn't um loved more <laughs> by the people yeah really didn't and it didn't vote win the popular or the like the people's preferred flag uh, yeah it got like the lowest votes of the of the finalists so it made yeah, it that far uh, but yeah it's super strange uh yeah but, um yeah i don't know it's it's reminiscent of the um tino rangatira tonga flag too like the the red oh, white black yeah flag. the maori thingy or, reminiscent uh, but different yeah yeah, yeah. Um, um yeah yeah no, i don't I, know i also think that it lost because like 2015 this was like the height of isis and they had done the <laughs> oh man yeah no but seriously they had done the black and white flags in, in, were... in paris and the black and white mm -hmm. flags like you, you cannot have this people said it's the isis flags like yeah but you're kind of looking at, at a very specific segment of history and like this, yeah isis will not last and yeah. uh, you have like you have branded the black and white way longer than isis have and yeah they have a flag drawn in paint anyway so like why they don't have monopoly <laughs> on the colors and it's just like you're ah it's just an opportunity lost yeah but, um, I, yeah yeah i, I, I still really like it. you know the broader public gets that way about things like that and i guess yeah black yeah. and white flags were not selling that year so yeah uh but they didn't go for a flag change so i guess it's still possible to to go for it I, yeah. I really like it. I don't uh, who designed it. Andrew Fife. It says on my, my oh fellow Andrew. I, it's uh, I don't know. It was some designer. I saw an interview last week, and I just don't remember what he said. Other than yeah, it's the koru. It's the fern that folds, and it folds out. Like it's not the actual leaf. It's like the, the okay, yeah, leaf yeah, branch or whatever. I'm not sure, but it's looked cool, unique, simple, adaptable. So yeah, underrated. Plus I do like, um, low key. I like a, I don't know what the dimensions on that one are, but like, I do like a long flag like that. 
Well, I, I guess it's this one, one to two like every other British heritage. Uh, it is one to two. Yeah. yeah, I guess the only one that wasn't was the silver fern. That one looks closer to like a two to three yeah. or something. But yeah. in any case, all right. So that was the uh, that was the underrated. And you said you had a bit to talk about with the overrated. Oh, so yes, I have. Let's all right. let's jump into that. Nice. My overrated flag is uh, the flag of Alaska. Oh. Jesus Christ. I do not understand for the life of me how, how people can <laughs> like that flag. It's, I'm, I mean, and I, I recently saw a post on Reddit like where this guy had redesigned all the, the, the U.S. state flags. I think and I saw I, the ex- same one. Yeah, except for some of them, like Texas, yeah. state Texas. Great, you know. Tennessee, uh, perfect. And Tennessee State, Tennessee, and Alaska State, Alaska. And I, I, I do not understand how it's possible to to, to like is. Did Alaska and, stay Alaskan? I thought he like had had made the stars like a little bit bigger or something. Oh, okay, maybe may, may he did, but like. But the know, fact that you can't tell probably speaks yeah, to. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't tell. And <laughs> yeah. and and the thing I dislike about it is that it's it's the flag of constellations. It's yeah that's the symbols and. And I like I have the same rant about Australia and New Zealand. Like Jesus Christ! I was gonna God. say, yeah, you're you're a star yeah. hater. No, yes, uh, no. So I, like, yeah, get the stars, stars off the New Zealand itself. one. <laughs> yeah. No, not, not not stars in itself in themselves, but stars who you have to draw a, a pattern in your head to see like what they are. Right. So yeah. That's what a constellation is. It's an imaginary picture, but. Like when you, ha- what are good yeah, flags? Yeah. Like you, you have to, I like when you use the entire real estate of the flag, you know, you, you uh-huh. have stripes so uh-huh. that whenever they're, they're folded, like the flags behind me, uh, which you cannot see a listener, uh, you, you can recognize, uh, what they are, at least guess what, the, what they look like. But whenever you have a, a, a constellation on a, a piece of fabric, which is not straight, you know, mm-hmm. you, you lose the, the image. So at, at least if you want to have like a constellation symbolism, th- then draw out the goddamn lines, you know, <laughs> draw <laughs> yeah. out the Big Dipper. That would be better. Right. Because then yeah. you could see what it was when it's not drawn on the wall. And yeah, so I, I, I get that, like people like the Alaskan flag for like for its symbolism and blah, blah. Yes, the s- symbols are great. It's just constellations are ill suited on flags. And that's like, I think that's my number one comment on Reddit. Um, mm-hmm. just, I, I don't understand why people and flag enthusiasts like it. Like how, why do you like flags if it's uh, flags, if it's not for the, um, for the, um, adaptability and remixable and like get the ownership of the, um, uh, like the personal ownership of, of the flag it's so uh that yeah i don't not even have to show it to you because you, i think you know what it looks like i um, do yeah and uh oh i can, I can. yeah i, I the never YouTube thought... viewer i can share it uh share screen there we go yes so yes. just, just just look at it yeah i can see the red post okay wait that's the here. that's the yeah maybe the guy didn't increase the star size i don't know, I don't know. for some reason it seemed like maybe he did it, it also it doesn't really matter it's just yeah, yeah. I, I, I will, no flags to me there you you need you have real it's it, it's real estate you just have to maximize uh the the area you are given and constellations by definition do not do that so right it's, it's mostly it's, negative space yes yeah. exactly it's, it's just this should be like a rule, like the like the the rule of tincture. You shouldn't like high mm-hmm. contrast to have, uh, which I broke in my flag. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but I this this like this. I'm very uh, pleased with myself uh, for having chosen this as an overrated flag because this is a message I really want to broadcast to the. I don't know how many listeners you have. It's a very niche podcast. <laughs> but thousands. Well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> hundreds. hundreds I mean, more, I'll say this more than you would think. More than more than I would think. More than All you right. would think. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would love like to to have some uproar in the flag vexillology community about this, or or like a real solid discussion, like constellations on flags, yay or nay. It's, it's just I'm. Yes, I'm almost willing to put this on my tombstone. Yeah. yeah. It's like 
constellations on flags. Constellations are ill-suited design elements on flags. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Make that well, your memory. last words as well. Amen. Yes. <laughs> constellations okay. are ill-suited for flags. Yes. So, um, <laughs> Jesus. But in Norwegian. Right. And uh, stjernetegn er uegnede på flagg. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Um, yeah, I, I never, it's something that uh, we didn't discuss, like for the listeners uh, and viewers, like we didn't actually discuss this up top before no, the show. I did um, not want to do it. I wanted to get it like a, a pure unpracticed uh, rant. And exactly, yeah. On it. But it's something that I, I had not thought of and didn't, uh, like like I mentioned, didn't have time to think of before the show. Uh, but like, yeah, like, I, I never realized I, I, I never had an opinion on constellations on flags, but now I kind of do. <laughs> what's your opinion on Australia and New Zealand? Uh, I don't care for them, either of the flags. But yeah. uh, the, the, the countries and the people, lovely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Flags, no. <laughs> oh. I mean, yeah, one, they're too close to each other, which is why I was so hopeful that New Zealand was actually going to fucking change theirs. And then, oh. you know, 56, 57 percent, they, and they didn't. And then Australia's is just is nothing to write home about either. It's like, oh, we we made like a seven pointed star or whatever it is. Uh, Australia is like slightly better than New Zealand because it's slightly like better. I like, them. yeah, I like that. There's at yeah. least one star kind of bigger and under the yeah. ensign. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I never thought to about, talk it. about. I want to talk about Australia later. I have a uh, earlier at some point. Like, what are you a segment? What are your like favorite? This should be the new flag movement. I have a few, and I have a few here with me. Okay. Uh, so we can uh, we can end with that after the forest fence. Okay, awesome. Or yeah, what, what let's uh, talk about the, all the flags I have behind me. Yeah, we'll we'll get to uh, I'm sure a good deal of them too. Um, yeah. yeah, let's go ahead and get out of this first segment and into the main section of the show here. Then um, I know I had in our notes and. Yes and everything else that that I wanted to talk about the forest fence first, but I actually thought of a question yes. that I don't think will take too long to discuss up top here. So um, you're in Norway and I know in yes. Norway, they have very specific rules about the national flag and how you, how and when you can fly it. Oh my things God. Like that. <laughs> oh, Is this oh, something I, that you, <laughs> you can I, speak to or I am hardly dispassionate about. Um, okay. Like, in my opinion, there are like two schools of uh, of flag enthusiasts. Uh -huh. You have the people like myself who who like love the design and like, oh, what makes a good flag a bad flag? Uh, and I I think you are in that category uh, as well. Yeah. And you have uh, and you have the people who like love the military tradition of of flags, and uh, were really the excited and about circumstance the, and yes, yeah, uh, and really excited about the about the coronation of King Charles, which was uh, yesterday uh, for. Uh, us recording yeah the less i say uh, on that the better <laughs> uh yeah oh well i i think monarchy is cool we have a monarchy, monarchy in norway <laughs> um, again the less i say the better <laughs> yeah um we uh yeah but we have like rules that oh the flag mm -hmm. should like it should go up at dawn which is kind of defined as eight o'clock and then go down at sunset which then is defined at nine maybe in in winter there are different rules yeah and and like People get angry if their neighbors like don't put up or don't take down their flag uh, before really? like nine o'clock. Yes, you, like people, you have like neighbor disputes. Uh, yeah. That. And okay. That it, it's that, that's what a, I was gonna. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. As a, as a, and, and I I'm I, I really really don't care. It's like yeah, uh, uh, the flag falls on the ground. It's like yeah, oh, just pick it up. You know, I'm not <laughs> profoundly yeah. hurt uh yes it's, right it's, thank you it's a piece of cloth that you can yeah. like use to, to like band your brothers and sisters around but um yeah yeah uh but like th these are very rules that are ingrained in in the public uh however they are uh not enforceable at all <laughs> okay it's, it's not, okay it's, but people think it's illegal you know it's oh we have the flat we have the thing called the flag law yeah and uh, it says yes, it should be at eight o'clock and taken um, taken up at eight o'clock, taken down at nine o'clock in the evening. Um, but uh, the, the, this rule is applicable only to uh, to uh, pub public flagpoles, like from official, like on city hall, and yeah, where where it's uh, like okay. uh, this is the state owned <clears throat> or muni municipality owned. So like, if the neighbor doesn't, it's like it's it's sort of uh, uh, yeah, it's it's just frowned upon. 
or as, as gotcha. that's what it is. It's, it's frowned upon. Yeah. I, I really don't care. I, it's sort of cute though, that people get passionate about that. And I, I try to respect it as much as I can, but like on the national holiday, uh, if I put out my flag, then I go, you know, with the, in the children's parade, we have children's parade, not military parades in Norway. It's quite cool. Yeah. Um, and, uh, oh, and, well, and well. I am out with my friends and I'm like, yeah, just having fun all day. If I co come home at 10, like, I don't want to rush home because oh <laughs> you're like, God, Oh I shit, I have to put the flag. flag. Yes. Yeah. It's like, Oh my God. It's, yeah. That's uh, insane. Get that's life, people. Uh, unhinged I'll, behavior. I'll <laughs> and you know, I, I, I yeah. If I uh, have to leave bef like before eight o'clock from this national day, I will, I will put out my flag before eight o'clock, you know? Yeah. Sure. So it's there all day. Right. Uh, yeah. Th that was some of the questions that I had was like, uh, I mean, you answered them without me asking, but like, I was wondering like, uh, you know, as far as the, uh, enforceability of it. All right. That answers that not, uh, on private residences anyway. And then, yeah, I, I was going to ask like, because I guess like in my head, when I was reading about that, when I found out about that, I was like, well, like who, who's going to like, not just who's going to enforce it, but like, who's going to even like care, but I guess neighbors, I guess like, Oh, they do neighbors, Especially like older neighbors, Oh, they which, do. <laughs> which like you said, like, you know, I mean, that is getting passionate about flags in a way. Yes. So like, I'm never going to say, Hey, don't get passionate about flags. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's not how I would do it, but whatever. Uh, yeah, especially the older ones, did you say? Yeah, yeah. Old, old like older generation, yeah. Older generation, people who've been in the military. You know, like we have sure. mandatory military service, <laughs> at least uh, uh, now it's for, yeah, it's for both sexes now, but it's mandatory in the sense that only a few people get, you know, um, called upon right, to sure, do yeah. it. And then they have to do the traditions every and they sort of mm -hmm. you know get some uh some identity from from this tradition it's like yeah yeah okay gotcha like, um, I, I i try to respect it like within reasonability the limits of reasonability sure yeah no i definitely feel you on that um all right cool yeah i just i uh it cropped into my head and i was like i don't know the next time i'm gonna have a norwegian that. on the show to ask that was, uh, that was a good question that so good yeah question. i was like yeah gotta get the norway norway questions in while i have a norwegian on Ugh. yeah skipping over yeah stumbling over my words whatever let's go and uh get into the forest fins like we yes. talked about is going to be kind of the bulk of this yes. so the forest fins in the first place and i understand that you are not among the forest fins so you don't know I all do. there is to know about their you know oral tradition and history and all that but broad strokes who are okay. the forest fins and uh and and like where do they live because right. fens i think finland but yes so uh, the forest fens are a people a group of people uh who uh uh emigrated which one is the one that goes out uh emigrated yeah yeah immigrate into emigrate from yeah here uh, in tennessee they they rhyme yeah. so it's the same uh <laughs> the people who left uh, yeah. finland like the savalox area and some other, I, which whose name I, I forgot. Um, like in the 1500s, 15 or 1600s, they just uh, wandered out to new lands and they found themselves in in like the middle of today's Sweden. Stayed there, uh, lived in the forest, farmed the lands. They were good farmers. And then 1600s came like across to Norway, to what's Norway today, and sort of lived there. Um, yeah, so, so it's just people of like, Finnish descent who emigrated okay. into they sort of lived on their own they talked this Finnish dialect language yeah and they weren't really a, a part of like Norwegian and Swedish society and then you know come come the 17 1800s uh and uh, they uh, like the 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 policy of nationalization when you know the the they like the governments tried to assimilate them into into mm -hmm. like Norway and Sweden yeah. And um sort of weren't allowed to, to like practice their, their their culture and talk their language mm. in schools, like, oh no, we go into schools. Uh it's an all just, too common story. Yeah. yeah it's an all too and we have the, the, the same thing happen to like the Sami people and uh -huh. the yeah. Kivan people. But the Sami people are still that's still a language that's alive today. But right, the first right. language is it just does not exist. Nobody speaks that. Yeah, I, it, I read that. Uh, the last like n the last speaker died in like 1950 something or or something like that. Yes, and even then uh, it was like just I, I one, so they didn't have anyone yeah. to talk to, so they probably yeah. didn't, you know, like the level of yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, so, 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 so you can say that like the the policy is uh, the policy of uh, nationalization or for for the for Norwegianing uh, mm -hmm. on the Norwegian side was really successful. It really worked. Like people, there there are so many people of Forest Finn descent that do not know that they are Forest Finns. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. So it's it's kind of thing. And I personally, I haven't hadn't heard of the Forest Finns before, like maybe two or three years ago. Yeah. I had no idea that that was a, it's it's like one of the national minorities, but I just didn't know. I didn't learn about it in school. Like they, they were just not talked about uh, at all. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, so, so, so that's kind, kind of it. Like people of yeah. uh, <clears throat> Finnish descent, great, great uh, farmers, uh, like lived on their own. Then they got assimilated into Norway and Sweden. And, uh, yeah. and recently, like they've tried to like, yeah, let's let's um, let's uh, let's get back on the kind of like rediscover the, the history our, books. Yeah, our heritage, our heritage and our, ourselves. Yeah, uh, yeah, very cool. Because like when I first like, I, I think I didn't hear about them until it's probably like a year ago. If it, maybe not even a year ago, but it was definitely while I was doing this show. At some point, I looked them up, and really? like first thing was like, yeah, forest fins. Well, I'm a huge fan of like Nordic cross, like Scandinavian yeah. cross flags, as all the listeners and viewers know at this point. Mm um so yeah i was like i don't know anything and everything to do with scandinavia is like i, I want to know like what these different ethnic groups are i knew the yeah. Sa samis like sammy yeah. whatever had a flag very cool flag um but they didn't and i was like yeah so why don't they and who are they but like to my american ears and maybe this is because i was like raised on uh or not raised on but like uh fantasy like high fantasy things like that like uh I don't know, Lord of the Rings and like playing Skyrim and stuff. Forest Fens to me sounds like this like ancient race of like, yeah. I don't know, like almost like giants, like almost like near mythical beings that are just like yeah. rugged and like hard as nails and like yeah. just live out in the cold with no shirts on and shit. Like <laughs> that's what it sounds all, like. <laughs> yeah, it's, it sounds cooler than I think the like the ones of Forest Fen descent in the 19 early 1900s felt. You probably, you know, yeah. like you, you, <laughs> And at that time, people were ashamed of their forest fin heritage, mm. and they sort of, yeah, just uh, yeah, don't talk about it. And they, 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 they lived in, in like sort of some of them lived in, in cabins where you had the, <clears throat> where you have the the fireplace, but no no chimney, I think. So they sort of had smoke uh, inside the of the house, uh, and sort uh, and therefore, you know, it's a weird design choice. A, yeah, well. Uh, <laughs> That was the way they worked. Yeah. And uh, they did not suffocate, but uh, their clothes smelled of fireplace. And, you know, that's kind of, uh, they were quite, uh, you, can, you can imagine the Forest Fin kids were bullied in school. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> smelling, for sure. Like being, having like suit in their face and just smelling weird. Uh, so th that's who, who the, uh, a brief introduction uh, of uh, the Forest Fins by uh, not Forest Fin at all. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. Uh, helped along by another non forest fan, non, <laughs> you know, Nordic even person, like mm. just some guy who read Wikipedia a couple times. Yeah. Um, that's how I describe myself. But, uh, all right, cool. So, yeah, so that's the forest fins, like writ large. Um, but like we said, so they did not have a flag, like, like the Sami people did, and like some of these other, like, uh, ethnic minorities did. Yeah. And so, like, what was, I, I guess, like, um, what kind of started the push for a flag? Was it like a Norwegian government thing? Did it come no. from a forest not... fin community or yeah? Yes. But th 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 there, there are like 13 different forest fin organizations in Norway and Sweden. Damn. Okay. And like the, the just uh, the, the forest fin museum and the, the union for forest fins, you know, tr people who like doing uh, like uh, um, ancestral research. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah, and, for sure. Um, and they were like, yeah, we, maybe we should get together, you know, and get like, get some symbol we can rally behind and, and like face these. Uh, right. Yeah. Like, uh, to just yeah. Show, unifying hey, thing. We, 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 yeah. That we exist. Th th there is like, there sort of is a forest fin flag from before. It's not the flag of the forest fins. It's the flag of the fin forest in Norway, like fin school again. So okay. if you, if you Google, you're able to find a flag that's like just the Nordic cross, like, like Norway, just a green background and then uh, a black cross with a white uh, fimbration, what you call it? Yeah. 
So okay, green, yeah, I think white, I've seen that black, one. and with a, a Nordic flag, but the 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 cross is centered towards the fly. Right. Okay. Wait, toward and, the fly or toward yes. the hoist? No, towards the fly. Oh. It's like the other way, sort of antichrist. I don't know if that's the. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Wait, I think which... it's a pro. It's a pro. Yeah, just uh, if you just found like Forest Fen Republic or something. It's a, a sort of a festival, Republiken Finskogen, that they have in, like in the area in the Norwegian side, like once a year, and they sort of declare themselves as a republic and celebrate forest Finn culture. Is it Forest uh, Republic of Finland? Or maybe you can if you say. Uh, oh no, this is in Finnish. I recognize Finnish, and this if you is... if you write Finskogen, like Finn and Skogen, S K O G, uh, S K O G, and then Republic, you you, you might find the flag. Ah, yeah, Forest of the Fens, sure enough. Forest of the Fens, and then you Flag have is not and... on Wiki, but I'm sure it's somewhere on Google. Oh, I can... Um... Or at least no, it's not I... on English Wiki. But I, okay, I yeah, like, yeah, but I got the it. association said, like, this flag is um, is very much associated with this fe Whoa. yearly festival. And it's crazy uh, long. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy long. It was just, or, yeah. Whoa. And, uh, it's sort of their brand, so they just didn't want to, like, take that. Sure. Yeah, and it's uh, they wanted like a that like uh, I think the the forest fans have more identity on on Norwegian side than on Swedish side, and in the Swedish side they're not even a national like an acknowledged national minority. They're mm. a part of the like the uh, this, this uh, bigger group of uh, Finnish Swedes. Okay, Sverige, Finland, yeah. Uh, or uh, Finnish Sw Swedish Finns, maybe. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. It's so hard. Like, I, <laughs> that's another thing I Wikipedia recently. It's like, yeah, yeah Swedish Finns, Finnish Swedes is like, it's like n the opposite way of what you would yeah. think. And like, I don't know. Yeah. You guys have like one word for it that probably sums it up nicely where we yeah. just get confused in English. But okay. So yeah. So they had that flag as like, um, as like, I mean, kind of like what was it? You said it's like their their cultural flag, or what? Like this green one. You said yeah, well, like, you said it's like a brand festival kind of. flag. It's festival like flag. Okay. Yeah. I, I I might say stuff that's wrong in here. I, I don't. Oh, know. I've never been to the, the. I do that all the time. Republic, uh, the the Finn school days. Uh, I want to go. No. no yeah, I want to go now. Shit. Yeah. Um, um, okay. Yeah. So this. Cool. So just yeah. So the the thirteen organizations said, "Hey, we we, we need a flag." uh and they sort of uh talk to each other and they you know chose a committee like who will lead this work and uh they chose five of them like five uh, three from the norwegian side and two from the swedish side and they uh like wait uh, three and uh, two of what of, uh, like there were three representatives from like, oh, okay. three norwegian associations and okay. two representatives from the swedish force fin associations Gotcha. Like in 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 the in the flag uh, <clears throat> contest committee, and they say, okay, we'll 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 we'll, uh, we'll hold a, a flag design contest. Okay, cool. So, and so it was published. Yeah, yeah. So it was held like outside of the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, outside the purview of either of the actual national governments. Like they didn't have anything yeah, yeah. No, to do nothing with... to do with the governments. Okay. They just this is our thing. We will not like yeah. really need recognition from them. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like sort of be weird. Yeah, their their history with dealing with those governments is one of yeah. you know assimilation and basically yeah. like cultural genocide if you if you want to. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I would <laughs> go asking them either. But okay, so so they they get these five representatives together. <clears throat> they yeah. all meet up and they say like, all right, so we we need a flag. We're going to put on a competition. So yes. how does that like? How do you hear about it? Like, what's the next step in this process? The, the next step is a uh, uh, a sort of a friend of a friend uh like we're friend on friends on facebook and uh -huh. on facebook i've uh i post stuff about flags and oh look at this i no way design flags i i rate flags and so i just got a tip yeah uh thank you thank you martin uh shout out to you for <laughs> tipping me yeah i got a tip about like a year and a half ago oh there's this contest i assume you know about this but um <laughs> uh, as the flag I, I, didn't, man. I think i got just one tip, maybe two i don't remember but uh yeah mm. martin was the the first ones and it's like okay cool i've never seen an actual flag design contest uh for something that's sort of close to home yeah and, uh where i can have some oh i should participate in this i've i've come i've competed in like the reddit design contests sure yeah. and then i stopped because people don't have 
proper tastes, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> too I much agree. Complicated flags uh, get voted up and like, I, okay, screw this. I'm gonna say that's why I stopped too, not because my yeah. designs were absolute garbage, but it was because you know people just like people weren't ready for what I had, you know, yeah, to, to offer. Posted just uh, <laughs> cool posters is what they made, or like cool graphics. On, Honestly, like, yeah, cool on the screen. Yeah, like like I said, Whatever. yeah, we we talk about that so often. The difference between yeah. seeing something on a screen and seeing it like actually waving. Which is yeah. so cool. Like we'll get to that, like the uh, when you first saw it waving, because I'm sure that was yeah. a cool moment. But oh yes, b- before we get to that, so like, all right, so you've it, it's yeah. in your ear. You've heard about the design contest. It's close to home. You're like, all right, cool. Yeah. Um, so what, I, like, because you're not a designer, like a graphic designer by trade, right? No, no, I'm not a designer, but I, I I've by, but by you this just have time, a passion kind of for it. Or... I have a passion. I really like th- this. Is okay. What Roman Mars talk was in 2015. Like in yeah. 2017, maybe I, uh, I, I sort of, uh, oh, maybe I should like design my own flag. Yeah. 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 And, and I sort of, and then I, I made a flag f- for my, um, uh, for my, uh, girlfriend at the time, uh, which is now my wife. Uh, okay. It's more fun to say it that way. <laughs> yeah. My ex-girlfriend, uh, uh current right. wife. <laughs> and, um, and, uh, and uh, like she, she, she liked that. And, um, uh, yeah, just then I designed flags for, for my, the choir I sang in the, the my sports club, which is the one that's uh, to the furthermost. This okay, I, I was here. wondering. Yeah, that's, uh, we can talk about that too. Um, and uh, so, like, I'm, I'm been quite. Um, I would say uh, I've I've designed flags before at this point. Okay. Yeah. By the so, time you hear uh, about like, this, you yeah, you got a few I, under I, your belt. I, 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 but nothing that's really been um that's been uh adopted or adopted or... by stuff by by people that are not you know my sports club or my choir you know yeah or my family because they have to be uh, nice to you they have <laughs> no. to be nice. but um uh yeah so i didn't know much about the forest fence and um my well my mom's boyfriend has a forest fin friend <laughs> Okay, and he's like, "Oh, yeah, well, this is cool. You should see this." Uh, I, I talked to him about the about the contest, and um, I said, "Oh, with with your mom, we watched this this new Forest Finn documentary, like on the on the states channel. It's called uh, Foreign Blood, Fremid Blue. For everyone who has uh, access to Norwegian VPN, you can watch it on nrk.no Ooh. or tv.nrk.no. Quite good. And me, I and do, my, and uh, I might. Yeah, yeah, and, and me and my well." Uh, fiance at the time mm-hmm. um we, we looked at this uh we watched this uh, this documentary for about an hour and like it was, it was a great documentary it was like yes we just for inspiration yes there there's lots of stuff to get inspired from here we, we can find at least three colors we or there was a symbol that they found like yeah. engraved on old settlements. Let's go for this and like we served together just oh, during dinner. Uh, then talk to my my mom nice. and my friend like oh. drew it drew it on Snapchat. I can share you the the first draft. <laughs> yeah, I love and and the listeners love shit like that too. Like the yeah. um um I've had a few designers on on episodes yeah. that haven't come out yet, and they've sent me a yeah. lot of early drafts and and. Uh, it is so fascinating. Yeah, I would yeah, love to see I, that. You drew I it think, on Snapchat. Yeah, oh, yeah Snapchat. That, that that's sort of my thing. Any any good flag can be drawn on Snapchat. I or Instagram like that's the that's my rule, and it, I think it's it's a fun thing that people like. Oh, this is a fun way of putting it. But no, um, I I agree with that. It's I, it's the equivalent of you know it should be so simple that a five year old can draw it. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That, that's the it's just my version of my spin on that principle. Yeah, I use Snapchat for a surprising, like, I don't think I've sent anything on Snapchat in years and years, but I will use it for, like, the very basic, like, Photoshop function, like, the yes. little scissors and then the, yeah. like, paste. It's yeah. surprisingly good for shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and right. then I just save it and never send it. But anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, we designed the Snapchat and we said, yep, yeah, this, uh, this is good. Uh, we'll, um, uh, we'll or, like, we agree on symbolism. Okay. And then uh, I sort of took it away from there. Uh, you can see, even though I, I, I do acknowledge my, I do acknowledge my wife, uh, my wife now. You better, yeah. As a, as a, as a co-creator, but like she also says, I, like I'm the flag man. You know, she she knows about this stuff because she's heard it from me. You know, we had to watch like before we got together, we need to watch the the Roman Mars TED talk and like this is the thing. <laughs> you know? Look, if we're gonna be together, you yeah. have to watch this, and I'm gonna oh. watch you watch this. 
and I need you it to wasn't. smile at the right parts yeah. and like, yeah, <laughs> she passed. That's good. Yeah, clearly. I mean, yeah, the ultimate test. So, yeah. So, All right. Uh, so, yeah, it took it from there and I wrote a submission and I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I'm a science major. So um, I'm uh, quite familiar with, uh, with the uh, submitting papers and or uh -huh. thesis, my thesis in the La, La Teche, La Tech. In the review of, process uh, and yeah. Oh, no, 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 not like publishing stuff. Uh, not like, I'm, I'm not a, oh. an actual scientist, but I, I've written lab reports, like in beautiful <laughs> documents, you know, you sort of, gotcha. yeah, it's yeah. not a programming it, but you sort of write a known markup language and, and you have like, like there's uh, uh, interactive links and uh, and references that if you move the, the the figures around, you know the figure numbers automatically get updated and everything. So mm -hmm. I, I wrote I wrote the submission in 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 LaTeX or that's the name of the of the program LaTeX. If you want to be really uh, geeky about the pronounce the Greek and pronunciation, I do. yeah. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, and I submitted it in March of 2022. And then right. I didn't hear anything for nine months. <laughs> yeah. So wait, all right. So we'll get to what happens nine months after, yeah. but like walk us through the, the design and I guess like oh. just your, your oh, yeah. thought process. Um, you know, like this symbol that you're talking about yeah. is yeah. obviously very central. Well, not yeah. quite central. It's a little toward the hoist, yeah. but. Okay. So, uh, what we watched from the documentary though, uh, it's, uh, okay. They're the forest fins. They were, uh, they lived in the forest. You know? All right, check. And Got it. So green. Know, check. So green. You know, it's <laughs> yeah. like it would be weird to leave it out. Mm -hmm. So green. And um and then <laughs> in the documentary, like uh the the documentary was about this this woman like discovering her forest fin heritage and like uh, get, okay, uh, cool. going around with her daughter like in the through Sweden and up to Finland, this Savalax area <laughs> where they um where her family originates from. And they're like, oh, we can find, we find this, uh, this, this yellow flower. I think St. John's wort is actually. The oh, St. John's wort. Yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. Johannes Urt has a more beautiful name in Norwegian, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Most things probably. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we'll find this flower on around, like apparently the, the forest fans like brought this flower around like, mm, and, okay. and just, you, you you find them like specifically around settlements. Gotcha. So, so it was like, okay. Yeah culturally important to them and yeah so there's like all right there's yellow <laughs> you know okay yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't have to be more than that you know i sure. don't have to be an expert about the um, uh, about forest fin cultures like okay but th this feels significant yeah and then you have this like the, the reason the forest fins were uh like were able to survive as a people and just like stay um just live on their own for quite a few hundred years is like they were really good like uh agriculturers i called them farmers earlier but maybe agriculturers yeah. is the more appropriate word and uh they they had this technique oh, well, it's uh yeah, i can find it on in, in english like we have from what i've seen it's slash and burn is what exactly. we would call it it's, yeah uh, slash and burn where they uh where they uh in order just to speed up like the harvest cycles they just burn the, some stuff to the soil and then it just become more fertile and they were able to like get crops five times a year instead of four or something like that i'm, I'm not an agriculture i'm a city boy i don't know yeah same. i don't know if that's a correct number but at least yeah they were able to get more from agricultural than the norwegians and swedish were at the time in the same, right like the time unit okay yeah so 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 so, so there's black you know there's uh we we have black so we had like uh, green yellow and black and then uh, what's re really quick before we before we move on from the black like what's the significance of the like diamond shape is there any yes. exact sin significance to that yes there is okay and it is <laughs> you think it is it's okay it's it is it is that's what it is uh uh yes but huh. okay Yes, it is. Uh, from this uh, documentary, like every, everything is from this documentary. <laughs> You're like, uh, when, sure. when like the documentaries travel around the settlements, like she kept finding these diamond shapes, you know, uh, uh, carved into, into like w the, what do you call the frames of the, of the, of doors and windows. Yeah. Door frames. Yeah. <laughs> yeah door frames. And, um, um, and, uh, apparently, you know, the, these symbols like yes the, the the power of the woman uh protects okay. against the spirits coming in or something you know yeah uh, so it's like a spiritual and, like uh fertility yeah. type like yes. okay okay so yeah uh, i mean in, you know that in, in lots the, of cultures 
yeah in the in the in the in like the official uh symbolism now that's out like it's a fertility symbol <laughs> like just yeah a, right yeah. sort of a euphemism of, of what it is sure uh it's like we i just wrote it in the submission like yeah this is the will of the thing screenshot from the documentary uh -huh. apparently this was important you know and it looks cool yeah it's, it's it's simple you know it's a simple design element that i can see like play it around with if you just repeat it you can hide it on knitted sweaters and stuff i mm -hmm. sort of yeah, as photoshopped this pattern around them as the, like a norwegian type sweater like look at this you can create identity with uh yeah. remixable uh, like you said yeah with uh with sort of knitted patterns um mm -hmm. so th that's the diamond shape and okay. uh, uh fused with a nordic cross because it's not to represent christianity in itself although like they were christianized but that was maybe forced more than uh, yeah yeah but problems uh, with it, that but yeah it's like I, I'm in a region. I don't interpret the Nor the Nordic cross or the cross as a as a Christian symbol. Yes, that's what it is originally. But now, like the off centered cross, it's a Nordic symbol. It's uh, yeah it's to show where we come from and we show, uh, we show uh, relations to the other Nordic countries. I yeah, I, similar to you, like I I don't mm. think of it that way either. It wasn't yeah. until like last year, like I again famous quote unquote famously you know mm -hmm. um love nordic crosses scandinavian cross flags and it wasn't until like last year i think i was like talking about like it was maybe we were talking about like the utah flag redesign but like last year before anything mm -hmm. had actually gone through and I, we were talking about like ah like it has the beehive thing on it it's like a religious symbol and somebody said to me like your favorite flags all have a religious symbol on them and <laughs> i was like what what are you talking about and they were like yeah like the sweden norway like they're they're yeah. all what do you think the second word in Nordic cross means? Like, and yeah. I have, I, I had to like literally take a step back and be like, shit, I had never thought of it in those terms. Anyway, I thought of it, like you said, like as a design element, just that you see mm -hmm. everywhere and, and, and stuff, but I guess, yeah, it, it was inherently religious. It's what you make of it now, but yeah. So yeah. So you put that on there, not as a, as a Christian thing, but just as a, yes. I guess to culturally tie it together or, or what, yes. how well, would you they, put it? They, they, they are, Finns, you know, of yeah. descent, just from this specific region of, of Finland, and they are in, they are in like a Nordic people, so it's like it, it feels appropriate. Yeah. And also, I prefer flags with you know lines and stuff. It looks cooler when it waves in the wind, and it's like easier to adapt. It's like yeah, this, yeah, yeah, easily. Uh, I, I I will I, I will put it out. So so like the flag we submitted is very much like the what like it is today just without the red right i did hear red. that so so that's interesting and in, in, uh i'm sure that well i don't i'm sure there's a reason i don't know if it's a good reason but like for, from a design standpoint like you said earlier like you're like well mine does break the rule of tincture but like yeah. the the red's the thing that makes it break that the red on the green so like yes. so what was it about like d was it just incomplete without like did it just need a little something extra or what uh well um so nine months after submission uh -huh. I yes okay yeah yeah we're there now okay uh oh i i forgot just to mention it was fun uh during my bachelor's party i was uh, challenged to oh you should give uh you 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 need to give a presentation about flag design like try to, <laughs> like set, set me up like oh my fucking god yes awesome <laughs> i love this it was a best bachelor's party ever you know i get a yeah. about and i just show them the like the the interactive seven page long document on why yeah this was a good flag right <laughs> yeah. uh uh just this happened in april uh mm -hmm. side note and then but uh come come uh december you know i'm with my friends uh having uh christmas beer uh drinking uh, taste christmas beer tasting that's a nordic tradition at least Sure. You taste all the different Christmas brews. And uh, I got a phone call from an Sounds animal great. member. And I, this guy called, said, hello. My name you... is uh, Rune from the Forest Fin Association. Uh, you may guess why I'm calling. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, or in what regards. And, a uh, hit has been put what... out on your life. <laughs> uh... <laughs> there is a, there's only, uh, there's only, I'm only making this one call. It's like, oh, really? Like, uh -huh. Because so... I had sent them a few emails like, yeah, when will we hear something about it? And they say, yeah, soon. That seems like another, like, uh, uh, like, I don't know, notch in the belt or like a thing in the favor of, uh, my theory about forest fins being like almost mythical. Yeah. It's like, they're also like, they only speak in like these very cryptic sentences. Like he's uh, not going to tell you directly. He's like, I bet you can guess I'm only making one call. 
Ooh. Uh, it was a it was a very uh, very um mysterious uh, norwegian assimilated forest fin because uh, ah okay you know it talks from 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 like capital area uh-huh. you know speaks uh, uh nice you know this book norwegian was like gotcha uh, oh is that uh, is that what bokmal means yes it's like the the book book language i just put that together in my head okay yes makes sense it's 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 actually danish uh it's just a that, that's Whatever. another discussion. Uh, yeah, that's for a different show. I would love yeah. to do a language show, but uh, we're here. Oh, so. yes, you're a linguist. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, so the, 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 he said, yeah, uh, we're going to go for your flag. It's great. This was the flag that like was on everyone's shortlist. Ah, uh, yeah, it's like a good among sign. The, the five uh, judges in the, in the committee, you, you can say. Okay. And uh, we just have like, we want to add the, the red for it to symbolize this... Uh, uh, sacred tree or and bury oh okay some, some part of the culture that uh did not uh appear in the documentary <laughs> so, gotcha so okay yeah so you wouldn't have known yeah i, I wouldn't known I yeah wouldn't have known um, that makes sense if yeah. i had known maybe i would just would have disregarded it because of the the rule of uh tincture you know, yeah. contrast uh, tincture uh, it, it's not a holy rule for me but i know why it's there you know um, same yeah yeah it's not hard and fast but um yeah i i would have guessed like just like just looking at it, I would have guessed yeah. that the red was for like Finland because I know red yeah. is like a historic Finnish color with the lion with the swords and all that. Oh, like a royal right. royal Finnish, I think. You know, as a matter of fact, they did write to me that yeah, we want to have the red also for this uh, like Finnish heritage uh, thing. Uh, Dual reason, yeah. Word. Yes, they basically uh, they picked every reason they could, and they were like, yeah, for these and, reasons. <laughs> and then they sent me, okay, we're just going to send. We want to publish this like next week, put out a press press release because it, it will be in the period between Christmas and uh, and New Year's, and like mm-hmm. this is the time we want to launch, and yeah, we want to like get it produced and blah blah blah. So yeah. they sent me, are you okay with this? Just like a just double check, and and uh, uh, let me share a screen again and show you, and I can uh, okay put it in the in the show notes as well. Yeah, absolutely. The, Yes. All right. Sure. Okay. So uh, the design I submitted was this. Okay. Okay. Um, so just yeah. Um, yep. Big rhombus uh, with black and merged with a yellow Nordic cross on green field. And they said, "Yep, yeah, we, we like it. It's good symbolism. We like the the fertility symbol. That mm-hmm. we we <laughs> check this. That was quite." Uh, I was surprised. I, I didn't think they would go for it, but they yeah. did. Um, and we want, just want to change it though and add some red. And they sent me this. Ooh, yes. And they, it's like so. Sorry, I had to look first away. Of all, yeah, they, we want to remo- like make the the green a bit lighter for reasons I don't remember. But it's like, yeah. yeah. I wrote in my submission, like, doesn't really matter what shade of green you use. You know, I just had to pick one. Yeah. Uh, and they wanted to, to add the red for uh, symbolism reasons. And 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 we're going to publish this, like, within a few days. So, um, okay. blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, and I, yeah, what are your <laughs> thoughts? Because, like, your this? name is attached to this. So, it's like, if you end up not liking it, then that's, yeah, you know, it's a whole and, thing. And, yeah. And the, the, that was kind of my thought process, like oh, Christmas holidays coming up, like dude, <laughs> they've designed like how much yeah, energy for this do I have? I want, yeah, I want my name on this, but <laughs> the thing that bothered me the most was, okay, okay, you can go for a lighter shade of green, that that's okay, yeah. And then you want to contrast it with a light shade of red, yeah. So the the, the vibration they chose was they had a like a. a sort of soft green like mousse again you call it Norwegian like mousse green what do you call it like uh yeah uh, yeah i don't even know run rocks in norwegian mountains um okay oh like a moss con- green okay yeah, yes yeah. moss green moose is an animal yeah i was thinking moss like green. mouse i was trying to think of cognates yeah. i was like mouse is my mouse is mice aren't green <laughs> neither are mouses and uh, uh yeah. you talk i'm bad con- at it yeah, and they do the vibration in in sort of this pinkish salmon, pink red. Yeah, and, it's definitely a salmonish. And yeah. it's like, and uh, yeah, and they also put it uh, like uh, inside the the the, the rhombus mm-hmm. the losange. Um, so I looked at it. I thought about it for a day, and then I just contacted them and said, "I think you're making a mistake." Uh huh. It's 
I, 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 I can go on board with like you want to add red. That like for symbolism, like you were the force fins, you know, you, you, you know what you want to symbolize. I, yeah. I, I'm not going to argue with that. But if you want to include it, let, let's just do it properly. Like for once, okay, if you want to go with a, with a light shade of green, then you need, and you're going to like do the no-no contrast with red, mm. then please go with a darker red. Right. You know, so uh, I sent them just, okay, like this. The just to just to have a good contrast between the the, the green and, and the red. I'm like it's not great contrast. It's still green and red, but it's like it's better. It's okay. You're not yeah. you're not writing your name in dark red on on light green. It's like that wouldn't work on a flag. It's okay. And uh, I asked like, is there a reason why you want the, the the red to like be between the yellow and the and the 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 yellow and the um, and the black? Like no, okay. So we uh, we removed that, and just that's not a part of. Um, I forgot to put it in my. Uh, there we go. I'm just gonna include it in the notes. Uh, joop joop. There we go. Yeah. So I sent them like, let's do this. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And like, just I I'm I'm cool with this. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, so it's a it's a it's a compromise. I mean, you yes. you come to them with a design, they come back with, all right, well, we would prefer this, and you say, well, yes. design wise, let's do it like this, and then in the end, everyone was happy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Although it, it, you mentioned the word compromise, like no, it's, it's not a compromise. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't say like, okay, you want to include red. Yeah, like, I, I guess I can, I can work with that. It's it's not a compromise. Like you need this. Like we, we can make it happen. You just need to 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 make to do it properly yeah i guess less of a compromise and more of a conversation just like yeah. a uh yeah yeah but the the like this the, there's still uh I, this is not a, like now this is not a conversation i'm i'm just uh this is in the same email i'm writing them say you want this i think it's a mistake for these reasons uh you need a lighter you need a darker shade of red if you want to contrast with the with the light green mm -hmm. um and uh, you just i just would remove the the fimbration around the, the 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 rhombus as well because it yeah. just doesn't it's not it's, necessary. You have the red for the symbolism; it doesn't need to be there. And also, it sort of if if you have the the version with the uh, with the red around the black, it sort of really emphasizes the um, uh, anatomical uh, part of the. I get of the, yeah. Of the symbols like yeah yeah. If you like. I, I'm surprised that the I'm still surprised now that like it hasn't gotten the nickname like the pussy flag. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, because I'm yet I mean, like I said, I have dozens of listeners, so yeah, if we spread that uh, far and wide. Don't, uh... Like don't, but like if if you had like the red around the black, like it, it would like it. That's too graphical, you know. It's, Absolutely, yeah, it just yeah. Doesn't doesn't matter. So just remove that, and also I like change the. I was gonna say it looks like go. There. Yeah, going back and forth, it looks like yeah, the fimbriation got a little yeah. uh, thinner or something. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's just uh, this. Uh, it's just to oh, going back and forth, the the proportions sort of did not match uh, nice uh, fractions. Right, I think I saw something on your. I don't know if it's your Instagram or what, but uh, but something about the proportions. Oh yeah, there's uh, there are a few Easter eggs there. Uh, we can talk about that. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, but like they said, like this is cool. You can go with this, and I said, uh, or in the email are you having a meeting soon like before you launch can i just join the meeting just to like sell this yeah good idea and they they uh they said yes well yeah welcome and two days later i was in the meeting uh like it's a little zoom call or teams mm -hmm. call um uh, and uh yeah we talked about it and I, I presented my case and they were like, yeah, we haven't thought about that. Yeah, it's a good thing. You, <laughs> it's a good, let, let's go for this. So, so, so this was the, the, um, uh, you know, with the, with the, with the moss green and dark red, like a sort of burgundy red mm -hmm. and th that was published. Uh, okay. And, uh, and th that went out and it got, uh, the okay reception, like didn't get picked up by national media that much or like just some local media. Uh -huh. But, uh, you know, I had a few friends who said, oh, I saw your name on this. Cool. On Facebook. Right. Yeah. Sure. And I, I bragged about it. And that was uh, that was pretty cool. And so, um, yeah. Yeah. So so when this one got picked up, so uh, was that still did, did it actually happen between Christmas and New Year's or did it kind of like delay it a week or so with the oh, back they, and forth? They, they they I think they published the flag like a week after our meeting. 
Okay, because I was going to say, like, I'm just looking at your file name here, and it's 230106, oh, so I'm guessing yes. it's January 6th of 03. Yeah, this is January. Uh, but that's just the file. the file, so I didn't know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, the reason I'm sort of skipping the, the, the part where, um, uh, where uh, oh, we just, uh, you can see when I go back and forth, uh, it goes, it gets slightly uh, narrower. That was also just to make it match. Uh, oh, sure, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the fractions. Gotcha. That's um, when they, when they wanted to to produce the flag, like uh, when they wanted to produce the flag, um, they uh, the the flag producer said, "What are like the exact proportions of the stuff I need to I need to know that mm -hmm. construction like, sheet it, stuff? Yeah, the construction sheet like nothing matched, and like oh shit, it doesn't. Uh, and yeah. I suggested uh, um, yeah, I suggested proportions of like they the the associations they wanted. To keep this uh, the red twice or have it uh, half the size of the of the of the golden uh, stripe. Yeah, just I can see to that. match the like the Norwegian proportions. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That was fun, and also sort of the the proportion the actual proportions of the flag is five to eight, uh, which matches the Swedish flag. I was just gonna say I know it's one of them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and also the okay, you, so you taking like a little a, from Norwegian and a little from yeah. Swedish and okay. Yeah. And also the in the Norwegian flag, you know, the top left square, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's a square, but in Sweden, it's a rectangle, uh, right? Five, five to four proportions, and the the square that's sort of hidden, but it's a, if you imagine the square, it's a, it's five to four as well, uh, as well as the okay. the rhombus is also five to four, and it fits inside the the top left uh, corner if you if you if you turn it ninety degrees. So that's nice. a little Easter eggs of um, flag nerds. Yeah, yeah. That I yeah. just like to put in just because, yeah, why not? It's a, no, it's a fun story. And it's these kind of small things that, you know, you, you learn at school and it's fun to brag about, mm -hmm. if you know, and it's a quiz question, you know. Yeah. It, it makes you just like your flag a bit more, I think. Oh, absolutely. The more you know about it. Uh, yeah. I, I, I learned that um, that part about like in one, it's a square and one, it's like a slight rectangle. I learned that from, if viewers can see the herring salad flag, oh, the yes. uh, the union mark, because yeah, like you said on, on what is it on the Swedish one is the rectangle or Swedish one is rectangle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So like the one behind me, like that's, it's a rectangle, but the union mark on the Norwegian one is like a solid, just square, which I want yeah. that as a flag, like just that as a square, like Swiss looking flag, but it's, maybe someday it should, I'll, it's, I'll find it should that. be findable. Yeah. Somewhere anyway. Um, I mean, I find all these other random things. So, yeah. All so right. The, so the flag gets, uh, yeah, gets a good reception. I'm okay. happy. And then when they finally start, okay, we need to produce this because mm -hmm. Uh, and then uh, you know they get a um, they get a, a test a, sa a sample from the from the flag factory. <laughs> yeah, and we're like factory. Yeah, yeah, the factory is just uh, the green. Like, green didn't really work mm. because like if if you print the flag just to not make it crazy expensive. Uh -huh. If you just do like yeah, prints the the green looks very faded. And it, you know, you, you, they tried to like put it out and have it in, in lights. You could see right through the flag, and mm. so it's like, yeah. They, I, 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 guess, I think the, like the old like moss green was quite cool, but it didn't really work as a physical <clears throat> flag. So it's like, yeah, let's just make the green a bit darker. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and by that, we made the red slightly brighter as well, just to like. Uh, also match the, this berry a bit more, and it becomes uh, win -win. Yeah, it became like the flag I'm holding up right now. Uh, for the yeah, place. I will stop sharing screen. Is that the same one? Uh, on your Instagram? Yes, that uh, I think your wife no. was holding. I, 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 uh, oh, okay. Yes, uh, that my wife is holding. Yes, this is the 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 one. Yeah, it's the same actual physical flag. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, Very cool. And, uh, it's a green, so it's more of a like a regular green contrasted with more of a regular red now. Yeah, I, I think it works, and it, I think it re really cool with the sun from behind. The green just looks magical. So, oh man, uh, that's sort of like magical, mythical forest. There you go. Yes, yeah. Forest fins. Like like the sun filtering down through the trees. I mean, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I love shit like that. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's the that's the story of uh, of the flag design. And awesome. I gotten to the ceremony part so yeah no <laughs> we, we have to get to that um yeah. so okay so that's that's all done and like and when's the first like 
well, like timeline wise, where are we when the first one is printed and uh, like has the colors correct and you're like good with it? When's that? Uh, well, uh, now at this point, I'm sort of out of the, the like in okay, okay you in, in January we have this uh, or in in February we're like yeah I think we're gonna go for a or January February March we're gonna go for a little bit darker uh, darker green like okay. I suggested uh, originally <laughs> right and mm -hmm. and and then they sort of yeah do it on their own uh, from then okay cool and like and, and in this period of time um, what mm -hmm. happens. Oh uh, yeah, I I get people uh, sending submissions of oh look I did this uh, I I had a I, my hobby is to do weaving and I've weaved this long patterns. Uh, I saw that on but, your Insta, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can. Oh, I very have cool. My keys. I can. I can. I can send send you a picture of my keys and yeah, I bought one. I bought one. <laughs> oh yeah, people, obviously. Uh, knitted sweaters and like okay, people are starting to. Like people who are proud of their forest fin heritage are starting to to like to have fun with it, and that was like, yeah, that was. That's gonna be a cool feeling. Time. Yeah, yeah that's cool. gotta be a cool feeling. Like I've never, I maybe someday I'll design a yeah. flag, but uh, it'll probably be for like a city yeah. or a town, not an entire culture like that. That's very cool. Um, yeah. yeah. So 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 yeah. Walk me through the ceremony. Like what. Okay. It's got some historical precedent yeah. or something. So the, 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 there's a ceremony which marks the 200th anniversary of the March of the Twelve Men. That's the and the March of the Twelve Men were like twelve forest fins, six from the Norwegian side, uh, six from Swedish side, who marched to the king of. Sweden and Norway it was a union at the time. Right. Okay. Uh, for the flag you have uh, behind you. Yep. Uh, to the King Carl Johan. Okay. He's actually French. Oh. That's another story. Yes. He was a marsh, marsh, marshal. Yeah. Of Napoleon. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 And side, side story. Sweden. And, uh, yeah. It all tracks. That makes sense. And uh, they uh, they marched and they arrived on May fourth, eighteen twenty three. In the Swedish castle, and they uh, and they said to the Swedish Norwegian king, "We want to be recognized as a people, and like we like we want recognition. And how we want you to show that you recognize us is like to give us our own church parish, mm. where we can like give sermons in Finnish and and uh, like sort of have some degree of autonomy." Gotcha. And uh, the men's were thoroughly rejected. <laughs> mm. uh, they did not get what they asked for at all. But uh, like in forest fin history, it still marks like this is a time where the forest fins like from Norwegian and Swedish they got together and started like making demands like we want, uh, we matter. So you know? even though they didn't get Finish what they wanted, matter movements. Kind yeah. Of. So yeah. even though they didn't get what they wanted, they still like uh, it was like a unifying event, I guess. Yes. Well, so, so I had one question. That. Sorry, really quick, because I noticed the the date that you said. Did they did they mean to do it on Star Wars Day, or did they like was that <laughs> unintentional? Because like the king was probably busy, yeah, watching the Ridge Tridge. Yeah, uh, uh, that is. Um, I mean, that, it just seems like poor planning. <laughs> seems like it's poor planning. History books. Well, anyway, yeah, could be why. But, but uh, okay, so I, they didn't get it. They didn't get it, and then I don't know. Nothing happened for 200 years. Uh, <laughs> Fair I'm, enough. I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> They're like, okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll be chill. But the, yeah, this one organization in, in, <laughs> in Norway, uh, Finnish Forest Union, um, Forest Fin Union, um, said, yeah, we want to, we want to have like a parade and uh, like a um, a demonstration, or a, yeah, we want to have this gathering of forest fins. Yeah. In Oslo, in front of the statue of said king. Yeah, because that's the, like the too parade cool. street of Norway. If if you Google Oslo uh, national fest, holi national holiday, uh -huh. you will see the street. This it's the it's the it's the street of Karl Johan, named after this Norwegian Swedish king. He was actually French. <laughs> Uh, and it leads straight to the the palace yeah. or the whatever. And then it went straight to the palace, and then uh -huh. you, and there was this like one hour, like flag parade and and uh, and, uh, and and talks and and culture and choirs and folk music. It looked uh, very cool. Of, yeah, it was, it was really awesome. So yeah, 
and and there i for the first time i see uh i i see actual people forest fans or people of forest fan descent with the flag like being really happy you know awesome yeah that's gonna yeah. be a cool feeling that's that, 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 that that's quite awesome and you know it, it's cool for two reasons like for for one thing from just really nerdy like to see something you created it's just come alive yeah i mean like that was the thing your your reddit post that was pretty much the title yeah. of it. it was like to see a flag that i designed paraded yeah. around in the capital of my country like it's too fucking cool <laughs> like yeah that's the the that, that, that was awesome and yeah also just to see like people loving the flag for reasons that are not loving flags in themselves <laughs> uh -huh. which is kind of where, where i come from and that was also yeah that was that was pretty pretty sweet yeah, because of course you and I, people like, and all the flag nerds are going to love it. But yeah, yeah. for you people know, who've, who've never had one to get, yeah, yeah. very cool. That was, that was cool. And yeah, people, yeah, people just seem to, yes, this is our flag now. Did you like, uh, did you like give any kind of like speech or talk or, or like no. any kind of like recognition? Okay, yeah, because I mean, I was going to say it needs to be more focused on the forest fins. Yeah, I yeah imagine. no, no, I had a question. But I didn't know if maybe about. they asked you to like say a little something or do anything like that. But. No, because like the, 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 the march wasn't about the flag. It was about this 200 year anniversary right. this thing, you know? Uh, yeah. Did, yeah. did, did the, uh, the competition to redesign it like last year, was that with the foresight of, of having something ready by this year. Cause like uh, 2023, no. I mean, the, the exactly 200 yeah. years later is like a big mark to hit. Uh, I asked, uh, the, uh, this is the forest fin guy who gave me the call, uh, like t yesterday, uh, -huh. <laughs> uh, like, or two days ago. Yeah. Uh, uh, was that the intent of the contest? He said, uh, no, those are two separate events. Happy accident happened to coincide. Uh, but, yeah. uh, like one sort of fueled the other. It's a hell of a coincidence. Like, oh, we're going to have this flag contest. Like, yeah, now let's get, yeah, join our idea in having this uh, commemoration uh, thing. Right, right. Yeah. And also, uh, I did not mention, like, th there was this parade, but in the morning there was this, um, like, uh, they, they had the city hall of, of Oslo, capital city of Norway, uh, fly the flag. Oh, cool. Yeah. So the, it was, like, in, in, in huge, like, in... Two Big. times three meters, you know, or that uh, was, uh, that was, that was quite, well, we were like eight people <laughs> there for the, yeah, for the, the, the first hoists of the flag. Uh, I imagine you have pictures of that or videos. videos yeah, of yeah, I had pictures okay. of that. Cool. Uh, I have a video I can share. Yeah. Yeah. Send those over and, to uh, me. Yeah. yeah. And that was, it was, it was fun for several reasons. Uh, first of all, the flag was really late. Like it, it was supposed to go up at eight a.m. You know, <laughs> as as customs uh, uh -huh. say, right? But there we were with like the some of the Forest Fin Association leaders, uh, a mayor from like a Forest Fin municipality and the like inner forests of Norway, uh, and the mayor of Oslo also there, like the host, uh huh, looking at her watch <laughs> and saying, "I don't know where the flag is," <laughs> and then like five past eight, still no flag let me just make a few calls yeah <laughs> and they were like okay so there's apparently there's a bit of a misunderstanding back in the office uh would you like to come inside city hall and just have some coffee in my office in the mayor's office it's like yeah okay yeah cool <laughs> and uh yeah and uh, uh we had some and then oh saw the flag it's 45 minutes late but okay i'll be late for work but you know They'll understand. All, the, all my <laughs> colleagues know I love flags and this is a good day for me. So they were just happy for me. Yeah. You just walk in and be like flag thing. Yeah. And they'll be like, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. And, um, and uh, yeah, they flew the flag. It was great. And then they also had the flag of the capital city, the Oslo flag next to it, which is a terrible flag. I don't think I know the Oslo one. I know the Helsinki there's one, good, which I know is there's not. There's a good reason you don't know the Oslo flag. It's the seal on the bed sheets. It's uh... terrible. Uh, not even worth like, googling, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, just just Google it. It's the uh, it's like the coat yeah. of arms. Yeah, it's, it's still background. It's better than a U.S. state seal on a bed sheet, but yeah, it's yeah. it is what it is at the same time. It's I do appreciate been... that it's it's shifted toward the hoist. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. so I, I I tried to 
like talk a bit with the mayor, like, oh yeah, she's, she's, she's not a very good flag, and she's not <laughs> not really receptive about it. No, I love I, I love our seal. Yes, you love your seal. The seal is great, but the flag is not good. And um, and uh, now yeah. we're back in Utah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. This, uh, this is Full maybe circle. the next flag project like to redesign yeah. the, the city flag of oslo we have a few ideas yeah i mean because you didn't need to redesign the one in your last city in tron time i mean that one's perfect no, no, it, was, it was great oh, but I mean, oh, there are a few alterations i would make but uh well that's another story but yeah this one there's more than a few just scrap it and start over yeah yeah oh there's tons of symbolism in the seal whether you can get inspired yeah and again like a cool seal but not on a flag yeah. i think we're all pretty much on the same page as far as that goes all right cool so, so Sorry, what? Yeah, so that's the the that's the the very long story of the forest twin flags. Uh, no, I I love it. We've uh, I've thought um, I'll have to have you back on at some point anyway. But yeah. I have thought about like uh, having like I don't know like doing an episode on like um, regional flags or like um, what's a good way to put it like uh, cultural flags like this like flags that represent like either a specific region like say Appalachia here in the US yeah. or uh Cascadia things like that or cultures like this um of which there's like even a few other nordic cross ones i stumbled upon that were cultural mm -hmm. but um i think we're running up on time so do you have time for a quiz or do you need to uh to get going i have, I have time for a quiz all right let's do let's do a quiz unless you got anything else uh that you want to tell us on this I don't know. I said uh, I got all my questions I'm, in. I'm just in a happy place with the with the forest fans. Yeah. The How could you not like, be? This is the only f uh, flag I've got. I've I've uh, like we, 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 uh, I don't have one yet, and they're expensive to produce. And, okay. Uh, I'm I'm a bit uh, sad that I haven't gotten one physical as a present, and I'm a bit too embarrassed to to ask. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Can I like get one? Although we we got some some prize money, it's like uh, five hundred dollars. Uh, eh. Uh, which is which is great. It's just um, yeah. The um, uh, but that the prize money is not why like I'm, you and I do shit like no, that. No, it's no, like yeah, it's I want a, the. <laughs> it's not. It's uh, but um, yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I would. I would like a present. Like the 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 Forest Fen National Day, like the celebration day, will not be on on May fourth. That's that was like maybe because of Star Wars. Uh, yeah, Flash. yeah. Let's assume uh, it'll be on June twenty first. That's like the the date that they all uh, the thirteen organizations settled on, mm -hmm. which is great. But by then, it would be cool to have like this um, like balcony size, like one meter wide flags that I have. Yeah. Like, do I? Like, I, I never I thought. Wish. I never thought to even ask this. Do other countries do like so? In the U.S., we do like flag pins, and you can put it on a lapel. And usually oh. here in the U.S., not always, but usually it'll be. Uh, the American flag crossed with like the state flag or whatever yeah. other flag is like in question. Do yeah, we, we have that. Okay. But I was going to say, it'd be not, really not, cool not, to get a pin of it. Oh, um, I think not crossed with an American flag. Cause that'd be weird, but I, just, you know, <laughs> I, I, I think I, I, I saw in the Reddit, uh, in my Reddit post that someone, eh, this town in Sweden sells this forest fin flag pins. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. And the, the, yeah, the, the 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 fly factory like sort of got the contract for the flags in, on the Swedish side. Gotcha. But that's that's the only thing uh, I know. I haven't seen like this is sort of out of my control now. I don't. Right. Think yep. It's the. Uh, yeah. I I wish I got some commission from the flag producers, uh, for like <laughs> advising them. Yeah, you should talk to these people because they're nice and they they will work with you to get it right. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that was actually I'm sort the... of a salesman for them now. So uh, yeah, fair. That would, it, it would be cool to just to get a little side hustle. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Revenue. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that that was going to be my last, my final question is like, uh, where can I get one? But I guess just like keep googling it and keep looking I, it up. I, I, like, I, like just get it custom printed. Or I was going to say, yeah, yeah, just get your design and go to somebody that custom prints flags. Yeah, that's that. what uh, what I would do. Maybe I don't know if like flags for good want to do that. Um, it's not maybe it's not big enough to i don't know there are, there's a facebook group called forest fins in america so there is a small market for it yeah i'll ask michael he can do like uh i don't want to you know lock him into anything but i know he can 
do like small runs as like tests. And the only reason I know that is because he's going to do the flag for content, like my flag, show's flag. Oh, he's doing like yeah. a small run of those and we're going to see how they, uh, first off, how they look and how they sell and everything, of course, too. So, hmm. um, but yeah, I, yeah. And I, I don't, I don't, not your flag. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> we can save it for a flag design episode or we can go for it now. We'll save I'm that happy. for another day. Maybe some bonus content, who knows? Um, all let's right, so let's go ahead and get into the quiz. I think, uh, okay, so we are going to do a quiz on, oh, yeah. wait, I got to do my little quiz music that I oh. always forget to do now. Mm, let's see, where'd that go? I think it's right here. We've got questions and answers, and if you know the answers, go ahead and say the answers, and I will be content. I will be content. And then come on, hurry up. Just so quiz time. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. And uh, just to get, you know, the blood pumping a little bit, we will get the quiz music going oh. Oh. on a loop as well. All right. Frederic, are you ready? Oui. Question one. <laughs> Uh, a Nordic or Scandinavian cross flag contains a cross with the vertical part shifted toward the blank. Uh, to, uh, the hoist? Yes, toward the hoist. That, uh, yes. Correct. The question two, the sideways cross, the, the cross in question, the Scandinavian Nordic one, is also known as the cross of this saint who preached not in Scandinavia, but in Greece and Phrygia and Syria. A sideways cross like the the, 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 the nordic cross it's nordic. also known as the cross of saint blank the nordic cross is known oh i don't know i like it's not saint george because that's the centered cross yeah or is it saint george is it, like, it is not okay uh, uh, if you don't know it you're yeah. probably not going to get it know. it is saint philip the apostle I okay. I yeah, the cross of Saint Philip the Apostle. I did not know this until yesterday when I was writing this quiz. So, <laughs> no worries. But it's, um, it's not locked to a specific, specific color. It's just a. Yeah, the, just the design, I guess. Okay. I don't know. I'll look up. I'll look it into it more. Uh, so I'll give you that one. All right, number three. <laughs> we of course associate Nordic crosses with the Nordic countries, but how many Nordic crosses are there in the British Isles? Oh. Uh, want a multiple choice i can give you multiple well i know you're like a orkney islands that's one isn't it uh shetlands yeah is that one? so that's two i'm gonna guess there's one more i'm gonna stick with two there are eight. Oh my god there's shetland and orkney uh there is sutherland which is the nordic cross and the salt here Oh, uh, that doesn't count. That doesn't yeah, count. okay, then there are seven. Oh, yeah. Then there are seven. <laughs> okay, uh, I was going to ask, yeah. Uh, there's Caitness, which is, for the viewers, is this one here. Okay. Uh, in Scotland, there's Isle of Skye, West Riding of Yorkshire, uh, Barra, and South Weast. A lot of them are very small places. Okay. Anyway, question four. Yeah. Olaf has 13 Nordic cross flags. He also has a forgetfulness problem. Uh, if Olaf forgets that he has those 13 flags and goes back and buys the same flags 12 more times for a total of 13 times buying these 13 flags, how many Nordic cross flags will Olaf have? What? I... <laughs> what is 13 times 13? Okay, but there is that. <laughs> uh, that's 169 nice yes i know that one i had to uh i was trying to write it in a different way but it got clunky you know As, uh, don't write when you're tired folks <laughs> <laughs> okay question uh five how many nordic cross flags do i own <laughs> oh do i count one two three uh there's the little one on top like the norwegian flag in the and the and the strings thingy uh, I was not counting that, no. All right, but I, I, those are the ones in your first floor and you have in your basement that you cannot get because you're uh, <laughs> handicapped at the moment. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to say 13. Ooh, damn close. I'm going to give you that. 15. 15. 15, yeah. 
Uh, oh, and if we're not counting Sutherland, then 14, so even closer. Oh, nice. All right. Um, question six. What was the first Nordic cross flag with three colors? Oh, uh, national flags or like do I have to consider? This one happens oh. to be a national flag, but I'm not sure if the... Uh, yeah. First Nordic Let's... cross was... Um, uh, is it? Is it in Norway? 1821? Yeah, I'm going to go Norway. Woo! It was Norway. Also, bonus yes. point for the year. Yes. Yeah. Designer is my uh, name, brother, namesake. There you go. Schmelter, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Question right. seven. All Nordic flags may also be flown as this type of heraldic flag or banner, often pointed, swallow-tailed, or with several streamers. Yes. And suspended from a crossbar in an identical manner to the ancient Roman vexillum. Okay. So what type of, uh, of, of flag or banner is that? Do you know the name for it? This was, did you, didn't you say like a swallow tail? Is that? Yeah, it, it's often pointed swallow tailed or with several streamers. Okay. But the name of that kind of flag? Yeah, suspended no, from a crossbar. I, I, I have no idea. Okay, it's a very fun name. I don't know what it would what it's called in Norwegian, but uh, in English it is a gonfalon. Okay, I've never heard that before. Yeah, it's like the it's like, it kind of like the Roman ones you think of like when they charge in a battle. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was hanging from the crossbar down. Yeah. Uh, apparently, it's all Nordic flags. Like Game, of, Game of Thrones. Uh, style yeah, 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 very yeah. much like that. Okay. Uh, question eight: What was the first Nordic cross flag? Denmark. Correct. That's like the oldest flag. In yeah. Youth, isn't it? Yeah. Question yeah. nine: What is the newest Nordic cross flag? I I, I assume that the forest fin flag is a Nordic cross because I consider it to be. So I'm going to say forest fin flag. Yes, I was like half thinking I might trick you with that one, and you would just like uh, <laughs> think of a different one or something. Yes, but what's the second newest one? Uh, the uh, second newest one is the Isle of Skye in Scotland. Okay, it's yeah. uh, 2020, I think. Yes. Um. All right. Question ten. Um, oh no, 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 question, yeah, question 10. Which of the country uh, Nordic flags has the thickest of the bands? Like, thickest single band? Thickest so from, band? Yes. Uh, I, th <sighs> well, it's not Denmark, that's quite narrow. I, th I think it's Finland. It is Finland. I couldn't yes. tell you, like, the uh, proportions, but yeah. yes, it is Finland. And question number 11, why is a Nordic cross the best kind of flag? Because it's adaptable and remixable and it's got it's got a nice cool motif and it's uh, got a few colors to play around with. It's a good design choice. Yeah, oh, that's correct. I had looks cool. It looks cool. <laughs> All right, and that is the quiz. We can stop this like heart pounding music here. I like the music. <laughs> so you did really well on that and I didn't get to trick you where I thought I might. Let me calculate the scores up here and carry that two. And all right. Okay. That was a hard, hard quiz. That was a... Right. Yeah. So, all right. You got a Norway plus very, very well done. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, that was, that was great. You, you know, your shit. Um, all right. So I think it's probably as my dogs are barking, it's probably a good time to start wrapping up. Let's go ahead and get into plugs. So Frederick, where can people follow you? Um, you know, find your designs, like interact with you, any of that good stuff. Oh, uh, I have an Instagram at flagmannen, which means the flag man in yep. Norwegian. <laughs> flagmannen, two G's, two N's. Yep. Or three ends in total. Three, yeah, yeah. The two are where you th would think they would be. If you're watching on YouTube, it says Flagman on my t-shirt. That helps. My orange t-shirt. That helps. I haven't even explained why I like orange. That's so weird. It's like super important part of my identity. It'll be for next time. Yeah, next time we'll dig into like, who is the Flagman? Oh, yes. And what does he think of my flag? I yeah. bet it's not good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I'll just sit on that. that. I have a, I have hey, a... Christoph doesn't love it either. You know what? I had to do something that was that had a circular element because yeah. there's a lot of circles on social media, and I had yes. to. You know what? Whatever. There were a few considerations. I'm not defending myself. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm no, not on trial. Like, there's the, uh, I liked, and I, I really love the color scheme. 
Thank you. Uh, it I, reminds me of Red Bull Racing, the Formula One. I could see that. I could see that. Yeah. I even designed a flag for Red Bull Racing Formula One, which I have on my coffee cup here. That it happens. Oh, you don't say. Another thing for next time. There are, we are next time. We're stacking up the things for next time. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Oh. So yeah, so you can find the show anywhere with ad signs at flagged for content, the number four on YouTube. Please subscribe to the YouTube, even if you're an audio listener, getting those numbers up just helps me, which helps you. It's it's a win-win kind of thing. Um, that is flagged for content all spelled out. Our link tree is link tree slash flagged for content all spelled out. And yeah, you guys know where to find us. All the, the bulk of this stuff is on the link tree. If you can't find it there, you probably don't need to find it. So um, uh, before we end, mm -hmm. um, shoot in somewhere or a uh, recording. Yay. Uh, uh, we talked a lot about the, um, the designs uh, or like my design intent of the forest fin flag. Mm -hmm. However, if you read on online, like what is the, the symbolism, it's not exactly what I said. Right. Because the, the committee kind of reinterpreted the colors yeah. to, to match uh, the, the forest fin culture, which they know more of than myself. Yeah. So, so I'm cool with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like the the, the St. John's wort is, is just gone from the from the interpretation. They interpreted it as the 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 the, the wheat from the slash and burn or the yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Stuff they they from the agri uh, agriculture. It just goes to show colors on flags can mean like whatever yeah. the fuck you and want. And then that is like... just it's to totally cool. Uh, I'm cool with that. Uh, but when I talk to it about people, I, I will tell them my. Yeah, yeah, of course. Interpretation. And that's cool. yeah, well, that's what I wanted to know because anybody yeah. can read on Wikipedia yeah. like what it's supposed to stand for. What the listeners yeah. want to know is like what you yeah, it's way more interesting. Yeah. Okay, so like I said, I do actually have a way to finish the episode. Uh, nope. I have a way to finish the episode, but it is across the room and I cannot get there right now. Um Frederick, is there any way that you could help out? Y yes. Uh I would like to uh end with uh, the a quote from Roman Mars is life-changing TED talk. Mm. Uh, and since you probably will get, you know, copyright flagged, <laughs> properly flagged, uh, if you just insert it at the end, I will try to, uh, to read it out, um, in my best radio voice. There you go. <clears throat> it's like, this is flagged for content. <laughs> my name is Frederick the flag man. <laughs> Okay, so here it goes. But a great city flag is something that represents a city to its people and its people to the world at large. And when that flag is a beautiful thing, that connection is a beautiful thing. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. I sorry, I thought I was I was transported briefly. <laughs> I thought I was there with Roman. All right, folks. You heard it here first. Well, you heard it here second. Roman, you know, maybe said it first. But Frederick, thank you so much for coming on. You are going to have to come back. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, um, absolutely. Lots of more to talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I assume you're going to keep playing Fresh Flags. We've got a new season starting today. So listeners, get in oh. on that. Frederick is very good at that. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm doing too much. You heard it here first. All that bit. Folks, this episode and this show have been flagged for content. <laughs> All right. I started getting into like a whole second outro and I was like, no, no, no. Flagged for Content is a Flags for Good podcast. Go to flagsforgood.com for more info.